G'day, welcome back. My name's John Barry. This is part two of Adobe Encore and Motion Menus. What I want to do now is go straight back to where we were in After Effects and take that rendered file where everything comes on the screen and actually reverse it so then we've got something for when we click the buttons in the menu to make all the stuff go away again. It's really simple. Here we are in After Effects, and this is where I made the animation before. Now, that has already been rendered out, so all I need to do is import it. So what I've done is gone to File, Import, Import File, found the rendered file, and brought it into my project panel. With that selected, I'm going to click and drag and drop on top of this little icon, which will make from the properties of that clip a composition that is the same frame size, frame rate, and all the elements, including the length of the file, will be correct. Now, let's have a look at what's going on here. We can see that when we scrub through, we see the animation as we built it in part one. Now, what I want to do is have it reverse. Notice I've got this special section of in, out, duration, and stretch. Now, in order to get that, visible, you need to have this little function down here switched on. When I switch it off, this is probably the sort of interface you're used to seeing. When I click it and turn it on, you get this ability to stretch your material. Now what I'm going to do is move this off to the side here, just so it's sort of in the middle here somewhere. Then I'll click on the percent for the stretch and just put a minus in front of that 100. Click OK. Now notice the positioning of the clip has flipped over. Not only has it reversed in content, it's reversed in its what's in and what's out. It's maintained that spot where I had the head, which is now the tail. So the first frame that was existing there still exists there, but everything else goes the other way. Instead of this direction, which it was in positive 100% territory. So now it's negative 100% territory. That is the position of the first frame. Goes all the way back. Now why am I explaining this? I will explain it to you like this. I'll just undo what we've done here and just leave this snapped in there. So then this is how the clip comes in. Now when I click on the 100% and I set it to minus, the clip kind of disappears and that's because that first frame is still there. Everything else is sitting on the outside over that way. So when doing stuff like this, just be aware, move it off to the side. It doesn't have to be in the middle, just off to the side somewhere. Just so you've got something to grab and then you can push it all the way out there. So here's what we're going to do now. Look at how our animation goes off the screen like that. All we need to do is re-render that out and we will rename it as animate out. And I might just to make sure that things are not going to get messy because in part three we're going to look at doing things with a scene menu, another menu, scene selection. So I need to be able to differentiate my main menu animate in and my main menu animate out. So this is how I'm going to label it. So once we hit that, we can hit render. And because it's so short, it doesn't take very long to uh, animate, we're going to flip back over to Encore. And now we're going to import as an asset and look for our main menu animate out. And then, because this is going to make both of these buttons transition to where they really need to go, we're going to use this special property in here for each button. We have now a transition option. And the asset, which will be the animate out, that asset does not need to be contained within its own timeline. So it doesn't need to sit in here in its own timeline. Okay, so we want both of these to have this. Now what we do is we set up exactly where we want that to go and the transition will happen in between. So in the basics, we need to set up our link 
and the link will be to play a movie. We don't have a movie, so what I'll do is just quickly import another asset as my movie, and I've got a universal counter leader that I will now turn into a timeline, and this will be our main timeline. Okay, so back to our main menu, play movie, we'll link to the universal counter leader. Now I don't need to use the pick whip, I can just grab that and drop it on top like this. Our scenes, that has to go to another space and that will be in part three. So let's just test how this functions. Preview from here, so it's previewing from that specific menu that we've asked to preview from and we can see we've got our play movie and our scenes. Now what happens when we hit play movie? It should take us to the animation out and then it starts the actual timeline which is our movie. Pretty cool huh? Okay I've been John Barry thanks for viewing part 3 is on its way